For January, pulling out thermodurics and looking for five things to focus on for this month. The first thing we would always recommend is checking your detergents. Is the cold weather affecting them? Are you using leftover detergents from last year? Just making sure you've got nice fresh detergents is key at this side of the year because older detergents from last year's season may not be effective enough. The second thing to look at maybe is did those detergents that you used all through 2022 work really well? And if not, maybe revise and purchase different ones for 2023. You might like to change up the frequency of your hot wash or your cold wash. But to do that, you'll need to look at your hot water. So that's the third thing to look at in January making sure you've got enough hot water capacity and also that your hot water is going to be hot enough. This is the right time of the year to do it before cows start calving. If you need to purchase or upgrade your hot water facilities, now is an ideal time to use it. The other thing to do is look at your rubberware. For many people, this is when you'll change your liners before you start to milk for spring. If you've already done that, just check that you're not at your 2000 milkings already. Sometimes we get the time gets away from us and we might have actually hit the 2000 milking level before we actually realize it. So changing up your rubberware. The other rubberware to remember to look at, not just liners, look at all your long milk tubes, your short pulse tubes, even your water hoses. If they've aged over time, they can store bacteria in there and that's going to lead to your thermoduric problems. The last thing to look at for January is check your claw pieces. Go out, bottom of the dairy, open up the claw pieces, see have you got any buildup or biofilm there. There in the receiving jar are the right places to have a look because they're easy to spot and easy to access. Check out your vacuum line as well, just before you really get stuck into a lot of calving. Just making sure that you've got no obvious buildup in those three or four places will really help to get your year off to a good start with thermodurics.